my Wolfpack and welcome to a brand new episode, episode 12 of our Pokemon Sword and Shield Warlock Challenge where I am frankly getting my butt handed to me, but at the same time we've still got some pretty hefty mons in the back, looking pretty solid, ready to take on Michael's team. We're going to come back from this. I believe Also, so. we're with the fans of Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here, guys. What's going He's on? He's here. He's here. Um, <laughs> he can hear me. My <laughs> goodness. If you guys did not see the last episode, be sure to check it out. Um, yeah. It was a, I did a big goof. It, Man, I, it, the battles get so intense when we get in there and have to take each other on. It's just any any misplay, any wrong move, any mistake, any tight matchup differential that'll show up. Because it's just yeah. two Pokemon out of the whole team of six. So, it'll be very different um, every time. So... It is, a, it is a challenge in on itself, picking the right Pokemon. Just updating my Pokelinks. I'm headed into Bob's Burgers real quick. Bob's Burgers? Oh, we're getting burgers. Hmm. Delicious. Let's go with... Oh, my gosh, I, um... I would love to go into a restaurant like that. To be fair, I've got my birthday coming up in like, oh. well, when we post this, it's going to be like, in like, two, three weeks. What? Happy um, birthday? Which is, well, it's literally my birthday on the 22nd, and the games come out on like, the 19th. Oh man, I so, am so ready. That is exciting, to say the least. Getting the games for your birthday. Yeah, well, I'm get, obviously getting them on Friday, and, um... Yeah, I've got plans already. There'll be an update video, I think, coming out on the 1st of November, I think is my plan. Oh, nice. So, letting people know what's going on with oh, the channel. Just a big old channel update. Yeah. And I think that'll be around the time when both my draft leagues will be ending. Okay. Right on. I love the freaking town, or I love the... Uh going inside some of these stores. Mm. Can you buy stuff here? No. I wish you could buy pizza. Yeah, oh, that'd be awesome. Give it a hell It'd be like a healing item. Did you see the newest trailer of Legends of Arceus? Uh, possibly. My goodness, the literal item inventory menu is Breath of the Wild. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Which is insane. And there's been a, there's a different, like the rare candy is now different or something. It looks like, oh. um, I don't know if like rock you get from like the beach, mm -hmm. kind of like the candy rock. Okay. Interesting. It, look, it looks kind of like that. That's insane. You know what else is pretty crazy though too? Um, gosh darn, uh, Pokemon in the wild can knock you out. Oh. The player can be knocked out. Insane. What the what the what the what the what he wants the battle? Oh, oh okay. Um, <laughs> um mm. I was not expecting that. I wonder how the heck we got outside in the woods when we're fighting right here by the well. Yeah. <laughs> I do love how Hop's teeth changes so frequently. Oh it does, it does all the time. Um Let's just go with you for now. I'm just gonna do that. A level cap is 50, I believe. Yes, it is, yeah. Got a takedown, you know, that didn't even dent me, actually. It did. They got a crit. Mm. Of course, you know, double be cheating. Like, it's using all that fur. <laughs> it's also snowing, like. Getting the heel pulse. Yeah. To be fair, I have seen double sweep um, in competitive before, which is absolutely insane. Mm. Really? But I think he set up like a cotton guard and then he just body pressed and just destroyed everything. Wild. How many times have you done the, uh, is it the gym challenge again? Or the, no it's not, it's the uh, battle tree. Whenever you fought Leon again later on. You done that? Oh, the uh, the battle tower. Yeah, that was the first yeah, time I, I ever seen Labaro Cinderace, and I was shook when I seen that. <laughs> I just love that the further you get with that, the more hacks there are. Yeah, like by far, there are so many hacks. Mm. That's a dead core of an eye. 
even though I resisted that hardcore, he took significant, like, hit me hard. I don't even know why uh, I went into I Nitto King. I should have went into Blast Toys. <laughs> Are you shell smashing? No, he just hit me with Pyro Ball. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. But you're already on his um his star. Wow. Yeah, we're switching. Oh, pop my citrus berry. We ain't switching no more. <laughs> All right, let's hope it doesn't have earthquake. I don't think it will. Don't you crit Uncle Frank? Oh, we got the freeze. Get him, Uncle Frank. Got him. I love when you get the freeze on them. Oh, yeah. Right, there we go. That is hot down. And Urchin or maybe it's not. Out. Oh, no. Yeah, Pink Urchin. For some reason, it's the last one he sends out. Weirdly. I have a full restore. gonna cross chop you. Okay, goodbye. You lived it. Wow. And bubble beaming me. Wow, that's an OP move. Wow, bubble beam? Yep, bubble I'm not beam. I'm surprised it gets it, but I'm also weird because it's an electric type. Pure electric type. Yeah. Pin Urchin and uh, Puke and Muku are, aren't they the same type of creature? Yes, I think so. Oh, very, very similar. One's an... Oh, wait. Sorry. Pukamuku is a uh, sea cucumber, right? Yeah. Got it. And pink urchin's in that, a sea urchin. Hmm. Alright, well, it's time for the water route. Yeah, we need to get the bike. Yeah, I am I am hyped to get this bike because it means I can evolve one of my Pokemon. Yeah, I'm so I can I'm finally get the item. Get in the bike and going to get the Thunderstorm. Oh, what do you need? These a Thunderstorm. You got a Pikachu. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! You're evolving Bright Time. Yep. With the Thunderstorm, yeah. Jolteon is actually really cool. It is a really cool mon. Body slam. Did you see the uh, the new leaks for Unite? Uh, I have not, no. Uh, apparently, there's a data mine and it says for alligators coming into the game. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Um, they also mentioned that Rowlet line's coming in. Rowlet definitely makes sense. I feel like Rowlet is a good mon to put in there. Mm -hmm. Range attacker. Yeah, definitely. So I'd be I'm trying to think who else would be a really cool mon for that. I'm surprised. I think Meganium would be a really good support. Meganium would be a good support, Mon. Clefable would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Man, I'd like to see. Uh... Oh shoot! What do I have for this guy? Togekiss would be interesting. Really? Togekiss would be interesting. Um, who else would be crazy? Uh. Chestnut would be cool too, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, Blaziken would be cool. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done Blaziken. Yeah. I feel like having like Avalug or something would be cool, like similar to how Crustle works. Yeah. Who else? Hmm. We need some more flying types having... in there. Imagine having like Eevee and it can evolve into any of the pink oh, monsters that'd be randomly. Wild. Yeah, that would be wild. They have Sylveon in there now. Yes, they do. They do. Oh, I'm trying to think who else. I would love to see Magmortar and um, Electivire in there. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think they would be really good ones to have.
Like I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually get Dragapult. Oh yeah, that'd be wild. Let's get Hydragon, Salamance, Titar. Oh yeah. All the pseudo legendaries. Get Metagross. Oh! Oh god. That. Oof. Oof. Ah. So I just used Giga Drain on a Linoon and it lived on 1 HP. And it used counter, and for a second I forgot what counter does, mm. and it's only on physical, and I was like, I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> mm. Oh, full on freak out. I just finished beating Hop. Oh wow. Yeah, it took me a he had a pretty good matchup. For some reason his Cinderace was put in the finest of work. Yeah. Dude, right, there's I an love, ice route. Love Halucha in the uh, healing screen. Oh, really? He's just sitting there with his cape on. Looks amazing. <laughs> Can you buy food from this guy? Oh, he wants to trade a vanilla for a sock. Vanilla? Oh, I thought he said for a sock, and I'm like. Who would trade a Pokemon for a sock? <laughs> yes. If you need a sock, my friend, I'll just give you one. <laughs> Alright, we have got the upgraded Rotom bike. Oh nice. my goodness. Uh, let's go over here, because I know exactly where I need to go. Not that way. <laughs> Completely wrong way. I love how we say I know exactly where I need to go, and they... Proceed to go the complete wrong way. You got lost. Standard midnight shenanigans. <laughs> I love. Uh... Oh my goodness, I forgot what it's called. Where Team Yell is from. It reminds me of the location in Sun and Moon. Yes, yes, I agree actually. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that location entirely. I like it. I'm very scared to take on your Venusaur later. <laughs> I had to I had to get rid of Jelly though, because uh gosh darn, Jelly Oh god, like Man. Tentacruel like in doubles is just yeah. the scariest thing. Like I legitimately like next time I do a doubles league, I'm one hundred percent drafting Tentacruel. It's just such a fantastic mon. He can do a lot. Mm. And it's fast. Yeah, base one hundred speed, which you would not expect. No. Oh, there is a Gyarados. Okay. What's up with it and Miltek having base 100? Yeah, and Taurus has 110, which is... Insane. Another another absolutely terrifying aspect. I really wish um, you wouldn't have lost Tauros. I really wish. I Like, oh my goodness, that was just such a stupid... Where is this item? Are you telling me that I was told wrong about this item? What item are you looking for? The Razor Claw. I was told it was here, unless it... I might have to look. <laughs> Gonna have to look this up. Like TikTok, I don't need to play. Hold up, my friend. I have a handy dandy strategy guide. You know, when the Phantom purchases a game, he grabs the uh, strategy guide. You said you need a uh, Razor Claw? Yeah. Apparently. It Where's should it's... be right here. Where's it supposed to be at? It's supposed to be in like the dusty bowl. Oh, I found it. Okay. It was a, it was a glowing item rather than like a thingy item. Got it. Yeah. I have to get I have to get so... the strategy guide every time I play through a game so I can find everything for our viewers. <laughs> See, that's when all my videos come in handy because that's when I start to do all of that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can come out. Oh, did you see the new Horizon update? Horizon? Yeah, for uh No, oh no, yeah, no, I don't I don't play it, so Oh I my goodness. When that game came out it was so high I ain't gonna lie. So good. Pangoro is another very cool Pokemon that got super scary when this game came out. Just because how it looks in uh, these models. <laughs> 
Pangro is just super scary anyways, which is insane. Mm -hmm. I think I, I was hoping DJ Spinda actually would have put Pangro on his uh, fighting gym team. Hmm. It, the, the thing is, it's got a massive weakness to Fairy, but if you take that out, it's same as like Scrafty. Like, they are such terrifying Pokemon. They can hit hard. And, you know, Scrafty gets Dragon Dance? Yes, it does. Yeah, mine mine had Dragon Dance. Man. You know, you know what's another thing I have not done yet on this channel? I haven't done a, mm -hmm. I haven't done a Rival Lock, and I have not done a um, Mascot Run. I've done a mascot run, but yeah, I haven't done a rival lock. I would, I would like to do a mascot run. All right, I, I believe that's what it's called. Oh, there's a whale miss. Yeah, I tried to, like, I think I called it through the generation. I started off at generation one. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's a Pokemon there. Um, and I got to generation, I think I finished generation two. Uh, maybe even start generation three. Oh, see, I did that. Did I tell you about mine with the the team that I caught all in Generation One and transferred them all the way up? Oh, nice. Yeah, so I no, 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 get away. I had to stop though because that was I was almost done before. Oh, cue the Costa Ricans playing. I had no idea. Um, I had to stop before. Um, gosh darn. The DLC came out for this game because yeah. I didn't have. Uh, some of the Pokemon that I picked for my team, I couldn't actually mm. get in the game yet. There is a Wild Vaporeon hanging out. Dawnstone. It's not what I need. Ice Stone. Not what I need. <laughs> You're going to find all the stones. It'll be the last one. Water Stone. Waterstone. It's looking like it. <laughs> Thunderstone. That's what I needed. There you go. Um, that should be okay. I don't think you get. All right, let's get back to where we were. I don't think we can go through the Route Nine tunnel just yet. Nope. At least as far as I'm away, you can't do it. All right, we are okay. back here. Let's quickly do a transfer out. And we're gonna get Bright Time Evolved to its beautiful shiny Jolteon, which is green. It's, it's very interesting because Bright Time, her name back then was Copper Queen, and you yeah. were in the live stream where I, I ran into the shiny Eevee. Yep. Yeah. All right, there it goes. All right, there is a dead Toxpex. Good. Boom, there it is, Jolteon. Nice. Okay, are you going to evolve now? Because I need you to evolve. <laughs> nope, I don't know what level like this evolves at, jeez. Yeah, I got two Pokemon right now that I need to evolve. Oh, the gate's closed. Oh man. Someone's getting really angry. Hey, midnight. Okay, it's Marnie calling over. Nice. Burkamite. Which it's Eevee? It's crazy how no one went exploring. Did oh. you pick? For this. Nope, nope. What what evolution did you pick? Um, playing fire red, leaf green, or red and blue for the first time. Oh, I think. I probably went Vaporeon. Really? Okay. I think I went Vaporeon. I have done all three of them. But I've probably done Jolteon more than the other two. Even though, mm. as I, I, I used to vape... Jolteon was my favorite, but my problem was I always caught a... I always picked... I think I picked Charmander more than anybody else. Yeah. And um, I always picked Pikachu... Mm. So I never uh, got the opportunity to actually, you know, utilize Jolteon all that well because yeah. I already had the electric type on the team. Mm. So kind of, kind of uh, 
didn't clash very well with the team, even though Jolteon was my favorite. But um, I have grown to love all the evolutions differently. Um, Guts, Flareon's pretty cool. If you've never oh, used that. Um, my goodness, I really, really love this location too. Very, very forgettable portion of the game as well. Definitely, definitely. Even though it is absolutely insane. There is a literal Karate Master in... There is a couple in a bikini on the beach. Wild. Yeah, he's crazy. You wouldn't catch me ever. Doing. It is <laughs> actually a pretty big map too. Oh, there's a HM over here. Or a TM. Rock Slide. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That is good. That um, is a good TM. I heard that the EXP the EXP share all is uh, back and it's causing some collapse within the uh, our community. Yes, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, it's, it's in there, and then um, yeah, a lot of people aren't happy about it. But I'm like, it's it's a, trying to think away for phrasing it. Um, it's designed for children. The game is yeah. designed for children, so to make it a little bit easier, because Gen Four. Especially towards the late game, you had to do a lot of grinding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, I think is a good thing. Yeah, 100%. Oh, you sneaky. Do we have... Let me ask you this. So, we have... How many different kinds of the move Protect do we have? We have Protect, Detect, Baneful Bunker. What's the last one? Uh... There is another one. Spiky Shield. A spiky Shield is one. That's I feel is. like there's another one as well, though. There's more than four? Are you including, like, the wide guards and the quick guard? No, I was just talking about, like, the straight-up moves that act specifically as Protect. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like there's one more, but I might be completely wrong. I, I want there to be one because Spiky Shield and Baneful Bunker only activate on physical contact. Yeah. I want one for special attacks. Definitely. I think it being like a psychic type move would be really cool. Yeah. Mind shield. Or mind deflect or something crazy. Mm. We also need like a physical assault vest. Yeah. I have got to hit my quota tonight too and make me another map, another location on my Pokemon fan game. Oh, um, how far are you now? I am working on... I have all the way up to the Pokemon League done. Yeah. The location of the Pokemon League. Um, and I am actively working on the map that connects to the second gym right now. Um, yeah. But my game is going to be very different. Um, the Pokemon that are on par with the trainer are going to be the actual evil team. Yeah. All the gyms are level 50. And then the Elite Four is level 100. Oh, that's going to be insane. Yeah. And they're all double battles. Youch. <laughs> and my very and they use dual types too. So the first gym leader, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and spoil it for you. He is water and grass. Ooh. So. It's the main Eludicolo. His start, actually, you know what's crazy? His starting Pokemon is a Ludicolo and a Politoed. Ooh. Drizzle. Swim yeah, swim. that's going to be scary. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're faster than me. Okay. All right, I'm now in the gym challenge. Okay. I'm fighting oh, it was Marty a speed right tie. Wow. You're you're in the gym challenge. Oh snap. Yeah. Oh, I thought for a minute I was gonna lose Jackal. Oh. Because I forgot to heal before this battle. I love the way Aurora Sphere looks in this game. 
I I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. It's literally a one-handed Kami Kami Oh, wait, really? wow. Yeah, it looks amazing. You know, I really want a shiny Feeble, because they look awesome. Yeah, Feeble, Feeble and just Nicket in general just looks beautiful. Mm. Definitely some Sly Cooper vibes. Mm. You, do you have a, uh, do you have a GameCube? Question I do not, no, unfortunately. Darn. Are they, are they readily available in the UK? Um... You can probably get them at a second-hand store. Um, I've never really bothered to try and get one, personally. If you... Uh, I purchased my GameCube and the Pokemon um, Advance cartridge yeah. with it. So I could do the um, record Gen 3 games. Nice. I'm really looking... For, I might be interested in doing a... Sh how... Is a, is a ROM the same... Um, chances of getting shinies as the standardized game uh i think so yeah i don't know how you it depends what what you do i could be interested and in how do you feel about gen 3 uh take it or leave it i have <laughs> like not... the first like half is good mm -hmm. i have not done a gen 3 game in a very long time um that is why I was more interested in Gen 3. Mm. Um, but I wouldn't be opposed to doing a... Uh, you know what? Even I could do Gen 3 and, and my partner could do you know, Generation 1. I would not be opposed to doing a Shiny Race. Oh, nice. Yes. I would quite enjoy Shiny Race. Maybe uh, schedule for sometime next year. Yeah. Okay, at some point, like... When schedules are a little less insane. <laughs> Swagger. I hope he has ant anticipation. Are you battling Marnie? Yeah. Oh, Clay, come on, man. Why are these guys so capable of their gymnastics? Yeah, I, I could I could not do it. Oh, he's got dry skin. Oh, great. Oh, this is a problem. DJ Spinda, this is a your favorite Pokemon is putting in the finest problem. work against me right now. Has to be you. All right, Mysterio. Of course it misses. Ah. Right, another chance. You're like, of course it misses. I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course he gets the crit. It missed twice in a row. <laughs> there we go. It hits the third time. Thank God. Come on, Frank. My entire team is getting whooped by a toxic croak. Oh, really? Wow. I actually really like toxic croak. I think yeah. it is one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I loved it in Generation 4. DJ Spin already said that's one of his guaranteed Pokemon. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking old Turtwig for sure. Um, Turtwig's my favorite Gen 4 starter. I think I'll be going Turtwig as well. Um, Turtwig. Um, who else? Probably, definitely going Turtwig. Um, and then, uh, I gotta go Starly, man. Starly, Star Raptor. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling Starly, but I'm also not feeling Starly. Mm -hmm. What other options do you get? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to think, like, I suppose Hunch Crow. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Yep. And you get um, him, you get it pretty early too. Yeah, I think I uh, turn a forest. Mm -hmm. Which is like um, the second gym location. So. 
Bastiodon. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Turtwig, Bastiodon. Um, oh, yeah, Fossil Pokemon would be cool. Yeah. Love uh, M me and DJ spend a Soul Link. I got a Rampardos. Oh, um, nice. Very, very fun. Oh, we get full heals now. Though you don't need them. I definitely do. <laughs> Alright. Have you made it to the uh, gym leader? I'm literally now about to battle him. Oh man, I need to hurry up. It took me a um, little, little bit longer to beat Marnie. Alright. Stepping out of the shadows. Right, he's up next. Oh, is he? Lightroom. I'm not worried at all about this because I know for a fact Jackal is going to knock them all out in one hit. <laughs> Done. Actually, I want to switch it's, my but stuff. But let's talk about Diamond and Pearl real quick. The yeah. Overworld? Yeah, it's got the, uh, I don't know what they, they called it, uh, Cherub or something? Looking sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, uh, that's what the, that's what the Overworld game looks like. But the battles yeah. are just like Sword Shield. Yeah. So, I don't mind. Yeah, the battles, the battle, I think they, the first one I didn't like as much, but the second time I think they updated it and they changed mm -hmm. it slightly. Yep. Uh, and even the overworld, I think the heads are less big now, which is, in my opinion, a good thing because I thought the heads were way too big. Yeah. Gen 6 kind of had that problem. Hmm. I love how Pierre walks like there's just nothing left in his life of excitement. Yeah. And he also wears shorts, which I find really interesting. <laughs> Pokemon Sun and Moon would be a very good uh, Switch game. Hmm. I actually thought Sun and Moon Star was pretty good. I did. I thought it was good as well. I thought I liked that they added some towards the end of Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah. The whole city from the other world was insane. Yeah. In fighting definitely. the actual boss Pokemon, Ultra Necrozma was yeah. uh, too much. Dude, this dude just, they just straight up did a double front flip out of the yeah, window. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The acrobatics is just like, wow. I'd I have done that. that. I'd have dodged. That's going to hurt quite a bit. Scrappy. Oh, it doesn't hurt that much. Ha! Scrappy got poison pointed. Ooh. Pant lizard. I didn't mean to take your Scrappy away. Oh, it's just it's just such a such a sore moment. Mm. Did you get to use him much? I did use him a little bit, a little bit. He was the one that I um like six uh, that I managed to get the plus six with bead on. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, that D dance, Dragon Dance yeah. is such a good move, especially on Scraggy because boosting speed and physical attack is crazy. Yeah. Oh, Scraggy, Scrafty is just... And it's got Moxie as well. Ooh. Um, and Intimidate, mm. so you can lower it down. It's got really good special defense also, so like it's bulky enough to be able to set up. I think it was my kill leader in um, the PLCL. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think. Man, I, I really... W I would go back to the Chaos facility with... Uh, gosh darn Salty. That Urshifu that I had was absolutely insane, and the perks that you get with the Chaos yeah. Facility was actually pretty amazing. You get a spin the wheel of fortune, and you can make... I'll tell you this, too. Um, the very last week, I got the, uh, the super crazy power, which is right. I can make two, um, two coaches completely switch their teams up trade team oh and Ooh. i i took the number one team 
and the last and the the lowest tier team and made them trade for the final battle. Russo. Yeah, that was a uh, Russo. I would say Goki Gamer was the number one, and uh, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Oh, obstruct is the last protect move. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it was? It's just been it's used on obstructs. Ob obstructs. Yeah, okay. I think it's specifically Obstagoon's move. Hmm. Oh my goodness! It's very interesting looking at the guy that does not have any of the paint on his face. Mm. Just looks exhausted. <laughs> How do you know the character is using Dark type Pokemon? Well, the bags <laughs> underneath their eyes. Yeah, <laughs> and all the spikes. And all the spikes. And maybe the skunk hair. My uh, my local card shop, they actually have a full art Morty card. And I was like, dude, Ooh. I'm just going to have to buy that. I'm going to go back in there and buy it. Yeah, we won this. We, we got this done. You beat all Pierce there? Yeah, well, I've just got one more move, but I've guaranteed, well, I've guaranteed killed him, but he might take an extra turn because he's deciding to obstruct every other turn. It's just like, will you stop? I love that he's let like, yourself go down. I ain't about that Dynamax stuff. Mm, mm. He's like most of the Pokemon community. That's another thing, too, I didn't tell you in my game. Uh, G-Max is permanent. Oh. Yep. Wow, that's insane. There, There is, you get one at the very beginning of the game. See, when you start my game, you start off with the shiny yeah. charm. Yeah. And you start off with the mega ring. Yeah. But you find a Dynamax candy, which you use, and it will permanently Dynamax one of your Pokemon. Oh, nice. So, I have coded in Blastoise all the way up to Butterfree, I think. Oh, yeah. So I think those are the ones I've coded in so far. But, uh, yeah, it is permanent. You can see them in your menu. Um, because of how the game works, it's called G Blastoise. So right, yeah. It is uh, pretty freaking awesome. I like this, too. He's just like a rock and roll legend. <laughs> Right, that is Pierre done. I didn't realize he had the last Pokemon. What because for some reason they don't... Acting. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, did you did you know that apparently in the next set, Fusion Strike, they have three new cards that are going to be in the game. Oh, Post Malone, Katy Perry, and some other singer. I I've seen them. I've seen. I, I saw them on Twitter earlier. Wild. Wild. Oof, that's and they're seven actual, out of eight. They're not trainer cards. They're actually Pokemon cards. Yeah. Insane. Hmm. So, pretty excited for that myself. Hmm. All right, Scrafty. Nope, you're with Pierre, I think. Yep. Oh, Pierce, not Pierre. Pierce. Don't know why I thought it was Pierce. Ooh, Intimidate. Inner Focus didn't work. Oh, something went boom. Don't fake me out. Can't fake me out, I have Inner Focus. Got him. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Do not need you to hit 51. Oh, he's actually using his ace Pokemon right now. Yeah, he uses it early. I think I can knock him out in one hit. Nope, he uses it. To be fair, if you got a fighting type move, then it will just destroy it. And I ain't gonna lie, I almost picked, because I really like the three Pokemon together. Obstagoon... Yeah. Zora Arc and uh, Midnight Lycanroc were almost in a team together. Oh, just because they all look like bipedal, like werewolf, wolf creatures. Yeah, 
Um, I almost did it, and I was like, ah, oh, I had to. I had to put him up though. I was like, I can't. Too much weakness to fighting. Um, too much of a fighting weakness. Ooh, Malamar. Do you still have to turn your switch upside down to evolve? In K. I don't really know. Um, so I don't think I've evolved a Malamar. Malamar's a good Pokemon. Surprisingly. Do this again. Dude, I'm literally just clicking the button up here. Really? Literally just clicking the button. Alright, let's try this again. Ooh, does Skunk Tank get Flamethrower? Why wouldn't you evolve? It does, but I don't. I think that's only a TM. Oh, he doesn't have flamethrower in this, though. I don't think so. It might do, but I don't think it does. But don't trust me on that. Now he went straight up to. I'm gonna say he doesn't because he went right for sucker punch. All oh, right, yeah, and probably not. Oh, I didn't mean to double protect. <laughs> That's good. All right. I think if this doesn't crit or knock me out, it didn't. The roar sphere, it's over. I have beat Pierce. Nice. All right. You ready for oh. our next battle? Our next warlock battle. I am ready. I'm terrified, but I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, we are getting in a Warlock battle in episode, man. It's crazy. That is, and it, we'll have another one next episode as well. Oh, is that our last one, too? It is. It's our 6v6 uh, next. The, la the last one before the potential... Uh, do we do one post the Elite Four? Yeah, there there is one next, and there's one after the Elite Four. Yeah. All right, there it is. Yeah, I am searching using the same code as last time. Uh, 1254? Yeah. Got it. And I believe our level cap increased to 55 now. Uh, I think it's still 50. Is it for the last gym leader too? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me, let me get out of here. Thank you, Marty. Appreciate <laughs> it. Cool. I'm at the gym. I've got two Pokemon on my team that I'm trying to evolve currently. Me? You know, I have two, two that I need to evolve. Um, big ol' explosion. Great. Come on. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> me, and, me, and, me and Midnight got some battling to do. Yep. We got another... Oh, my another, goodness. Another, just, another one. It took me out of the thing. <laughs> more story stuff don't even get a chance don't even get a chance <laughs> thank you yeah appreciate it cool cool story bro cool story bro go deal with it Leon go save the day <laughs> great okay cool now I gotta see if I'm banged up did they heal my Pokemon they did yeah Let's do this. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm probably losing another two months here. Don't say that. <laughs> I ain't ready. Checking my held items real quick before the battle. Yeah, yeah, I double checked mine. 
All right, we are still connected to the interwebs. All right, let's get it. Link battle. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, gosh. <laughs> do you just go straight for a battle? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did that as well. <laughs> Twelve five four twelve or oh, is it twelve four five is it what is it? Five four. One two five four one two yeah. five four. There we go, we are searching right now. It should be very quickly and we'll run be right quick. into there we go. my friend. See that was another very intelligent thing they did is adding the eight digit code instead of the four digit code. Yeah. Yeah, I think they realized that it was just there, there needed to be more. Mm -hmm. uh, no restrictions. All right, team. All right, let's see. Has your team changed at all? It has. Oh. Not has not. <laughs> um, interesting team. Hmm. Hmm. I think I gotta go this. Hmm. I think. I think I gotta go. I think I gotta go do this. Let's double check this one. I mean, I got to. Yeah. Um, so I got to go. So I got to do. I have really good Pokemon on my team, and I really don't want to lose any of them. Yeah, no, I think I have to go with this. I think this is what I go with. If you've got Alakazam, I'm probably in a bit of a, a bit of a problem. I had to pick Alakazam. You had to pick Alakazam. Ugh. But the risk of Sneasel. You only had one risk, though. True. Or oh, the exact same combo. Yeah. I believe in my team. <laughs> Alright, squad. Do it. Oh, wait. Um. No, I think I do that. And I do... That. That might just take me out. <laughs> that does... Oh, no, it doesn't! Oh, no, it doesn't! Hmm. Oh wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. Ouch! Wow! Yeah, that did a lot. That did a... Is that a choice band? No. Wow, jeez. It is a uh, max speed investment. Or max special attack investment. Wait, I just realized your choice scarf on your Alakazam, aren't you? No. No?! How am I slower? Slower than Alakazam? Yeah, I'm Choice Scarf on my Nidoqueen. Queen. Alakazam's fast. Yeah. Wow. I got this is a this is a speed nature speed invested Alakazam. Wow. That's insane. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, no, that actually shocked me. I am actually... Huh. Yeah, who, who would you like to kill? Hmm. Your poison dragon? Oof, my ivy. 
Actually, to be fair, I can live without Ivy. And... Droopy. Okay, no, I can live without both of those. I can accept that. Okay. I can accept that one. I I don't like future threats. Wow, you guys yeah, almost got fair, a whole both... hour of power on here. I know, it was insane. Goodness. But yeah, with that, we will finish off this episode here. You know, we're still in the running. We're still in the running. Like, things can completely change in one between now and next time. Absolutely. We have a 6v6 battle in the next episode, so... We do. We do. But we know so. that Phantom is definitely bringing his uh, Giratina to the next match, so I have to be very <laughs> careful with that. Or I'm saving yeah. for the last one. <laughs> Oh, well, you might do, you might do, but we will we will see what happens in those next ones. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. Go check out Phantom's channel where the next episode will be on. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you later.